Hello, I am Dr. Sumedha from AED Hospital. Today I am going to discuss about the type 2 diabetes and its advancement in therapy. Living with type 2 diabetes can be stressful. It is very important and a responsibility of a diabetic person to understand his disease and how to monitor the blood sugar levels, the complications with the diabetes, especially eye or nerve damage or kidney damage later on. So it is always uh, better to discuss openly with your diabetic care provider as well as the team and the doctor to understand number one, the treatment plan, the diagnosis, and to ensure what to do especially in the critical situation. Now as you have seen in the past type 2 diabetes was basically uh, treated with only diet and exercise. Only when it was not controlled with diet and exercise insulin was introduced. Insulin management was also stressful in some cases because of some of the complications like day-to-day -day daily injections then uh, the incidence of hypoglycemia, very low sugar levels used to happen and uh, in routine if you are taking injections on daily basis, weight gain was also one of the reasons which actually uh, led to the researchers um, thoughtful uh, research were done over the period that it is important to do something more in diabetic treatment. So the new innovation which I am talking about is GLP-1 agonist. These are the glucose dependent insulinotropic polypeptides which is again uh, being taken off or synthesized by the uh, intestinal walls. How it happens that with the uptake of the meal uh, when the patient is or a person who is diabetic is taking or ingesting food the intestinal walls will secrete these GLP-1 agonist which will further enhance their digestion of insulin by insulin. The insulin will be secreted by the pancreas. So these insulins basically from the pancreas is stimulated. So in normal conditions what we see is whatever you eat basically has to be digested and the glucose has to be taken inside the body cells which will be held by insulin. So now if insulin is not taken, GLP-1 agonists which are available in the market in both oral form and the injectable form. These can be taken once daily, twice daily or monthly four times. This has proven to benefit especially in the diabetic patients who are also obese or at high risk of CVD that is cardiovascular disease or already having cardiovascular disease. Also, we have seen the reduction of HbA1c level. What, what is HbA1c? That, that is the average 3 months blood glucose levels. It has come down drastically from 0.8 to 1.14 percentage. Fasting blood sugar levels also has proven to be much less and postprandial which is blood glucose level after 2 hours has also come down to from 16 to 33 mg per deciliter. Weight gain, which was one of the side effects of insulin, is also not seen with this new unique drug. So, happy to say that you should always maintain a bonding with your doctors to understand that what you want, what is the main uh, treatment protocol needed and it has to be customized patient to patient. Thank you.